are you talking to anybody how's your love life are you doing the do like some other people must feel this way it can't just be me and maybe it's because i've always been this way all my life and i'm just curious when i know that this is my time to work on myself yes but society makes me feel single shame Nowadays, slowly but surely, it's coming more and more that it's okay to be single. There's a lot of things with toys and celebrating single day. I've just seen that's now a thing, which is really nice. Say like you haven't spoken to a friend in a while. The first thing they want to ask is, are you dating anybody? Or you see a grandmother or an aunt. Did, have you met a boy yet? It just makes me feel, oh my gosh, why do I always have to have this freaking question? If I had, I would have I told you. It's just... Is there something wrong with me being single? Obviously, there is nothing wrong with being single, but it's single shame that is put on a person because they don't have anybody. It just makes me feel like it's so easy to find somebody to just, you know, F, but that's not all I want. So no, I am still single because most of the people my age just want to get it in and if they're not just getting it in, they're getting in a relationship just so they can get it in. Like, it's just so annoying. Like, there's more to a person. And I already spoke about this in a video. <laughs> you go on the Shade Room or Hollywood Unlocked on Instagram and everything is couple, couple, couple. And then when you see that your friends are in a relationship, like, something like that, it just makes you feel, why can't I be in one? That kind of feeling. And there's nothing wrong. Sometimes we all have our own time. Obviously, I definitely know without a doubt that it's just not my time and in the future it will be. So I just have to let it go that I've never been in one even though I've always wanted to be in one because I know I have a lot of love to give. You should never, never compare, but it's so easy to us humans to do that, especially because that's what social media is about, is about um, <sighs> boasting. It's about... <laughs> What is that word? <sighs> Social media is more of just showing off what you have. I mean, why would you post something if you didn't want anybody to see it, right? You're posting because you want somebody to see. I have a bunch of friends and then you see them with their relationships and it's just like, dang, why can't that be me? But as it's not my time, it probably isn't your time at this time either. We just more and more we feel less single shame and just more acceptance of being single. Like I like that the single day is going on. And honestly, <laughs> right now my new favorite toy is the perfect match. I'm gonna have it linked down below so you guys can see it. And I've been loving that toy lately. It's been I, uh, I said love that toy lately. Let me shut up. I only used a toy once, but let me tell you, it was amazing. It felt like it was meant to be inside. Eventually in the future, the right guy will come along. I have a lot of faith in that. I have a lot of faith in God and what he can do and what is meant for me is meant for me. And you shouldn't have to work super hard for somebody to be in your life. If they're supposed to be in your life, it should happen naturally. It should just feel right. Just fall down like deck of dominoes i said a deck of dominoes it just it should just fall down like dominoes so easily and so naturally because of the single shame try to talk to somebody who isn't for you and who treats you badly who doesn't give you the attention that you deserve and how much care and all that tlc that you've been giving them if they're not giving it back to you you should just go and leave because somebody's going to come around naturally and love you for you and i truly believe that for myself as well if you agree, go ahead and comment up below, down below. We can go ahead and talk about it. But I just wanted to talk about that single shame. It can be really hard when you see relationships. Ugh. It can be really hard when you see relationships everywhere. But when you know that if it's not your time right now, it can be a little easier to manage. And definitely getting off social media is a big help. When I get off, I feel much, much better. Single shame. Is a normal, is a normal game. I don't want to feel that way anymore, and you should not either. So you guys have a beautiful, blessed day because you guys are all beautiful people. You're one of a kind, and if that person isn't treating you right, you leave. You listen to me, you leave. And I got to keep that in mind for myself because it's not easy. It's not easy. Easier said than done, especially when it's so unconditional. Because we're good hearts out there, but if the person's not deserving of it, you got to go.